the city of Bethlehem and Moravian College have long and storied histories that intertwine and date all the way back to the 1740s, more than 275 years ago. A time before there was a United States of America, when King George ruled and Pennsylvania was little more than a forest of trees as far as the eye could see. Nicholas von Zinzendorf gave Bethlehem its name on Christmas Eve, 1741. This was followed in May 1742 by his daughter Benigna von Zinzendorf's founding of the Bethlehem Female Seminary, which would become the Moravian College as we know today. They operated under a general economy where everyone worked for the good of the community and received care from their birth through death. This approach allowed the Moravians to thrive. And by educating everyone, including women and Native Americans, they established the tradition of giving back to the community they loved so much. The revolutionary community that the Moravians founded in the 1700s is being recognized today on a global scale. Historic Moravian Bethlehem is poised to become a World Heritage Site, a very significant designation. Being named a World Heritage Site puts Bethlehem in the same league as the Statue of Liberty, the Great Wall of China, the Acropolis, and the Pyramids of Egypt. There is no higher recognition a community can receive. There is nothing, no further uh, imprimatur, no further anything. So we are on a list with 10 other cultural sites in the United States, and each year the United States can choose one site to be put forward in nomination to the World Heritage Commission list. And now, today, we are working with Herrenhut in Germany, where Countess Medigna is from, to, to continue the World Heritage, uh, the serial nomination, and include Bethlehem and Herrenhut, and hopefully some other historic Moravian communities on the World Heritage list. Another Lehigh Valley icon, Bethlehem Steel, traces its roots to 1857, with the establishment of the Bethlehem Iron Company a leader in American industrial manufacturing. The steel, as locals called it, was part of life in Bethlehem for generations of families and played a crucial role in developing and giving back to the community it called home. During World War I and World War II, Bethlehem Steel was a major supplier of armor plate and ordnance to the U.S. Armed Forces. Moravian College played a role in supporting the war effort as well. The Men's College established the Students' Army Training Corps during World War I, and during World War II, the college's Navy B-5 program trained naval aviation cadets. Moravian College students, faculty, and staff continue to look to the past and are inspired by the icons that built Bethlehem. Today, we continue the tradition of giving back with events like Heritage Day, which provide Moravian students faculty and staff with the opportunity to give back to the community that has given so much to them. With spring break service trips abroad, winter break service trips, a service sorority and more, there's no shortage of opportunities to get involved and give back to the community we love. In fact, Greyhounds normally complete over 20,000 service hours a year. Let Heritage Day serve as a great reminder of our founders and their mission to provide education and opportunities for all.